So, after about eight years or so, a little longer maybe, my LG 55LE 5400, November 2010, just stopped working. Uh, at first I thought it might be a next door neighbor with a remote that was programmed similarly to mine. Um, but then the screen went completely black and turning it on and off would not work. So I heard this rumor that if you remove the back plate here and you take out the motherboard, which is under all this right here, and you disconnect all the cableage, then you stick it in your oven at 385 degrees for 10 minutes and then slowly let it cool with the door open the heat off that when you plug it back in those micro solders in this old worn out motherboard will re-solder themselves effectively enough that you can buy some more time out of your TV um, I hope this isn't like <laughs> Those rumors that if you put your iPhone in the microwave, it'll dry it off. That seems ridiculous because it's mechanical and that uses a Megatron, uh, sorry, Magnetron. Um, I have the motherboard exposed. There's all these little clips down here. That one's taped over with a mark. I don't know what that one goes to, but then there's these ones up here. Oh, it looks like they had marked it at one time and then maybe flipped it, put it backwards or something. Let's see if that happened when I flip it over. And these guys right here. I think these are power and uh, remote. And I think that these are for the uh, LED. Um, <clears throat> also power for this right here. Components, other more components. So I have disassembled the screws from the motherboard, attaching it to this back plate of the TV. And just out of curiosity, I checked Google to see what the melting point of solder is. It's 370 usually. Um, I'm guessing they probably use a real basic solder on these motherboards, so I'm guessing 370 is its melting point, um, which is probably why the tutorial suggests 385, uh, because the solder probably becomes more malleable, yet not quite completely viscous, allowing the solder to re-adhere or fill in the cracks that over time and use have caused the malfunctioning on this motherboard. So I have, uh, am preheating my oven right now. As soon as it dings, I'm gonna go over there and I'm gonna, I'm gonna give this crazy, crazy idea enough, a uh, chance here. So the tutorial said that you have to set it to 385. I've set mine to 380 because I know this oven from past experience of using a thermometer when broiling that off by at this range of temperature it's off by about five to eight degrees ish if I remember correctly so I'm um, hedging my bet and going just a little lower at 380 uh, all because I do not want to cook this motherboard brown I I've seen in a few videos people who have tried this, it worked, yet uh, some of their motherboards turn brown. Um, quality of the footage, I could not tell if that was just flax. Uh, there might be a thin coating of flax or wax, paraffin possibly, I forget exactly what's used on boards uh, for protection, but probably not since this isn't made to be around water at all. I don't know. Anyway, um, we're going to find out. Uh, also, there's these 
That's on the back side. Also on this side, there are some little stickers, little uh, barcodes there. I'm wondering what's gonna happen to those in this 380 degrees, probably turn brown a little bit. Hopefully the rest of it won't. Also keeping the oven open once it's fully heated, so, and, and done with the 10 minute time. Um, so that these little resistors do not um, <laughs> slide right off the board. I want to be able to make this work and I do not want to have to spend $300 or $400 or whatever it is to go buy a new TV right now. Um, wish me luck. So my oven is to uh, temperature and I have the cardboard here that you're supposed to set it on. Uh, this is crazy, but I guess uh, the TV doesn't work anyway, so I could always purchase a new one of these online, and if that doesn't fix it, well then I wasted some money and some time. But uh, <clears throat> this is the quick fix, 10 minutes from now, and no wait on an Amazon delivery or cost or using a credit card online, we will see if it works. Oh. Uh, also, the smell. I heard the smell was bad, so you can hear the fan running there above the hood of the stove and uh, stove top and oven. I also have my slider doors open and another fan going on in the living room, hoping that I do not trigger the fire alarms or create too horrible a smell. So, we're about four and a half or five minutes into the cooking of uh, the, the process here. Uh, 380. I do smell um, something, but it's kind of sweet and not noxious. It doesn't smell like plastic, metal, solder, or flux. Um, I think that it is probably the glue inside the cardboard that is now cooking in there. Because uh, do you ever throw your box in? You probably shouldn't, but do you ever throw your pizza box in while you're reheating a pizza or you probably just throw it in the microwave probably but uh yeah um that's what it smells like okay and the baking is done i'm leaving it here just in case any of them are still uh a little wet i don't want them to move on me any parts to move on me it doesn't look like anything has moved i set my timer for five minutes uh, I'm going to give it that time to cool down here with the door completely open to the oven. Um, it is uh, obviously very hot coming out of here right now, so hope this works. Uh, yeah, and then full cool down for uh, 45 minutes is what I was told. Might as well make it an hour after that. Um, and then I'm going to reassemble and Hopefully I do not start a fire in my apartment. I am now going to reattach this back plate, the screwdriver there, all the screws, and I'll come back to you in a second. This is the moment of truth. Okay, power goes on. <gasps> oh my god. Holy crap, it worked. And I didn't start a fire or blow anything up. Oh my God. Oh my God. I am so happy right now. You have no clue. Oh my gosh. That's awesome.